money style, not not to think this is my business, a lot of money. Because no business, no? It was a, a love, it was the amore for, for this for the Lambretta. When I started, it was only for because I like. My heart is for Lambretta. Willkommen zu einer neuen Folge von The Most Sexiest Vespa and Lambretta Workshops. Ihr werdet euch fragen, warum ich dabei auf so einem Gefährt sitze, was aussieht wie eine Honda Goldwing. Das hier ist keine Honda Goldwing, das ist eine Honda Juno KA von 1954. Damals ist man sowas in Japan als Roller gefahren. Und das Ganze ist so interessant, weil es bei Casa Lambretta in Mailand steht. Und warum derartige Kuriositäten bei Casa Lambretta stehen, das muss uns natürlich der Besitzer von Casa Lambretta, Vittorio Tessera, erklären. Und den stelle ich euch jetzt vor. Ciao, Vittorio. Ciao. 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 Thanks uh, for welcome us here at your most beautiful place for Lambrettas. Can you please tell me where we are? First, welcome to my museum. <laughs> Mille grazie. We are in the, I, I, I hope, the most important museum in the world. Hmm. Because I started 40 years ago to collect scooters. And uh, I'm looking to, to buy, to collect the most important uh, scooter, the most important sto historical scooter. Okay. This museum is, is not a, a, a big number of scooters, but mm. it's a high quality of yeah. this scooter. What was your job at this time? Did you work with scooter or was it just a hobby? No, no. I started in the 79 when mm. I finished my school. Yeah. And I opened a shop for rest restoration scooters and motorcycles. The first 10 years I stole, I stole Vespa Lambretta. Okay. And after I prefer focus only to Lambretta. My problem was the spare parts. When I start, mm. I found a lot of spare parts, but uh, after 10, 15 years, uh, it was impossible to find yeah. the spare parts. Yeah. And now I start to remade the spare parts, not yeah. for sale, yeah. remade for, for myself, for my job. Okay. Because it's uh, impossible to finish the yeah, restoration. To, yeah, in this time, when everybody was looking after modern, modern scooters, why did you have the idea to do something nobody cares about? Why did you want to do old scooters? When I started, not, not to think, this is my business, a yeah. lot of money. Yeah. Because no business, no? Yeah. It was a, a love, it was the amour yes, for, for, yeah. for the Lambretta. Best answer you can give to the school. No, yeah. I, I am yeah. very lucky because yeah. the Lambretta and also Vespa, yeah. in, in, uh, in many years, the, the business arise, no? Yeah. For some different scooter, no yeah. rise, the business go okay. down. When I started, it was only for because I like. And when did you decide to make a museum? Um, after 10 years, I found a small uh, room mm. and I start to put the scooter in museum because my idea is to, uh, to show the history of everybody, no? Yeah. I start only with Lambrettas mm. first. After Lambretta, I, I, I'm interested to, to know the scooter history, not only the Lambretta history. Mm. At this point, you had your workshop. Yes. You made the, uh, the restorations. Yeah. Already were expert for Lambretta. See. Si. Yeah. And for special scooters. See. Si. <laughs> but today, Vittorio Tessera is known in the Lambretta world also for the parts and for Casa Lambretta selling Lambretta parts. The only shop in the world mm -hmm. where you can get every single screw for a Lambretta. Everything. Si. It's a, it's, a, it's a lot of work. It's yeah. really a lot of work. It's not easy to remade all the parts. Sometimes, uh, as the more parts, it's mm. more difficult to find, yeah. to finish one perfect restoration, yeah. no? Yeah. In, in effect, mm. it, 
it help many people yeah. to restore the scooter. On my desk, there's always your catalog. <laughs> because No, it's true. When you come to Zip, anytime okay. you see the catalog on my okay, desk. Thank you. And now we talked a lot. Mm -hmm. It is very interesting, but of course, we need to see the scooters. Are you ready for a little Giro? Giro, little Giro. There are many scooters to, okay. to, 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 to show you. Now in the museum are 180 scooters. 180? 180 scooters, yes. Mm. Ooh. Okay, let's start. Okay, go. <laughs> I think in the middle are the oldest uh, scooters, is that right? Yes, of course. The, yeah, the, the first, the, the number two, uh, the B model, the A model, the different version. On the outside, outside it's, right, it's the, younger. The, the, the younger. These are the lambrettas made outside Italy. Yeah. From uh, India, Brazil, Argentina, uh, Spain, uh, Germany, France. Uh, okay. By so, license. So what, what is this? This looks really cool. It's a FD. F Fugone D. Okay. FD. This was I found in uh, San Remo, mm -hmm. in Liguria, from the original owner, original dealer. It was uh, the, the trailer to foot the scooter for uh, service, no? Ah, okay. For Lambretta, service Lambretta, service Lambretta. Okay, and, and he picked up the scooters with this trailer? See, for... with the trailer. I put two A model, because yeah. for me the A model is the best Lambretta in the world. It's, a, it's the first. It's your favorite best. one? Yes, yes, it's my favorite. Okay. Yes. Yeah. This is a special machine, yeah. because this uh, I found inside the family house, innocent family house, in the because uh, it's new, it's a zero yeah. kilometer, because it was a gift from the seal India to the innocent family to show the new Lambretta made in India. <laughs> very cool. Uh, this okay. is very strange. Yeah, I never the saw The Pasco Minisaya, the Lambretta do Brazil, made some special Lambrettas. Okay. This is like, like a custom, but it's original. <laughs> It's a bit like a cut down or something. Yes, si, si, eh? it's same but yeah. it's a It's the same uh, history, cioè model made only for the Argentina market. Okay. But this made it from a with a license, yeah. but only for the engine, for the frame. The body was made in Argentina. The, the body, it's funny, it's like uh, like an early Lambretta. Si, early yeah. Lambretta. It was very um, light. Scooter, okay. No? Very simple to use. Lambretta made in Argentina. You have, you have to tell us Argentina. about about him. <laughs> Ferdinando. This is original. It was inside the factory. Mommy gave me. Okay. To put it in the museum. And, and he found it in Ocenti. Si, si, si. Ferdinando in Ocenti. Yeah. Ferdinando in Ocenti. And he died in? 66. 66. Mm. Lambretta existed for a few years longer than, okay. than he lived and then was sold to India. To and India. a few years later, even the whole in Ocenti was sold. Eh, si, because. Uh, the market for the scooter in the 70s was very low. And we have to come back to this scooter pretty short because this is a really last Lambretta. It's not the last last because it's electronic, but the last last changes the levers, a small ball. Ah, okay. The very last okay. model. Yeah. This is not the last. Uh, the one with this label, See. electronic, are uh, very special. They are special anyway. Mm -hmm. But these are the most special, most okay. expensive. They, I think they were also the first to uh, to use electric ignition. Yes. A very important uh, scooter we should show is this one. See, si, the number the one. Right? Number two, sorry. Number, number two. two. Number two. The oldest Lambert in the world. This is the, the number two with also a special color, I think. Yes. This is a special history because this scooter was restored inside the factory in the 60s. Ah, it was okay. put in the center of the, the room mm. because it was the first, no? Okay. But it was restored in the 60s. Mm. The people don't understand yeah. the perfect restoration. A lot of mistakes, this scooter. For me, I remain in this condition because this mistake are from the factory. Yeah. As a factory mistake, not my mistake. <laughs> the, but the know, number is two, frame engine number two. Here you can see the gear. See, yeah, to, to, which to, one? To, to check what? what is the gear is. It's very down, and when you ride, to, mm. you look yeah. down <laughs> and you go to, to the wall. <laughs> okay. What is this? At the factory, I switch on the light. Yeah. Now work now. now. Now the work begins. One million five hundred square meter, mm -hmm. seven thousand employers. Okay. Was one one of the biggest factory in Mailand. This particular model is from the Innocenti factory. It was in the Innocenti factory. Yes, yes. This is original plant inside yeah. the factory to show the factory to the visitors. In this museum, is there every Lambretta model that exists? 
Sì, no, oh, that missing, was a production. No, missing uh, the 125 junior missing. It's very easy to find the Lambretta. So, uh, yeah. It's difficult to find the, the rarest model. Yeah, I think rare is uh, is very good because you have a little room with very rare models. Yes, and we should have a look over there. See, I show you very yeah. special machine, very yeah. special machine. This is this really the, great. The oldest, yeah. rarest machine is this. This is a this is rarest. C racing okay. from the factory, original factory racing machine. Okay. This is a, the number of the engines, is number one. One yeah. air mm. racing, yeah. AS experimental 29. And this is the first made. Mm. Very, very rare. The tire. It's a racing tire, Corsa. And yeah. with a special brake drum also in the front? It's bigger. Okay. This is a special filter. When you use it in a clean, uh, clean street, open, ah, it goes directly. Okay, you, know? you have more power. Uh, more, more power. In the engine, is completely different. It looks the same, mm. but inside it's completely different. Motorcycle 250cc, yeah. Lambretta. This is the photo in the Milan show in the 50. Mm. It's different yeah. because uh, it's the same machine, because only one made. Modify it in two or three years to, okay. to uh, improve. A different fender in the, in the, the back. Only, it's completely changed. Complete yeah. changed. They were built only one. Only one, see. Yeah. And two, and two or three engines. Maybe. Okay. This With, is, is number one. The engine is number one. And 250cc on two cylinders. See. This is for the, me is most important yeah. because this is the first Lambretta mm. Junior 50cc, the first made. This is absolutely time. first ever made. First made. AT, experimental T Trio, AT. Mm. 12-2 is the number of the project. Mm -hmm. Zero one because the first made. In which year was it made? In, in the 61. So in, they, they were, in they were earlier than Vespa versus Morris. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Look at the grips. Look at so. yeah. <laughs> Here you have a, a very a very modern racer, yeah. <laughs> you, uh, it was a project you did together with uh, Rimini Lambretta, I think, and together you were Casa Lambretta, uh, Casa Performance. Yeah, yeah, okay. Are you still part of the project? This was a uh, experimental yeah. for for check our uh, Casa Performance per parts, uh, yeah. for test, for sure they are in good quality. Yeah. For me, it's finished for me because uh, my main job is not Casa yeah. Performance; it's a yeah. standard per parts. Yeah. But this machine is very important because yeah. we won the championship in BSSO in England. Now we come to to my personally star of the show. <laughs> star of the show. <laughs> it's the original Lambretta two-cylinder model. Mm. Is it right? Yes, two. I I I, I, found, I have two in my collection. One. Uh, this is a number two, and a number one with the special crankcase longer to fix a 12 inch wheel. Mm. This is a shorter wheel base. Okay. Yeah. When I found this, uh, I found inside the factory, uh, I found the two scooter uh, dusty, dirty, in mm. bad condition. Uh. And when I saw the two carburetor, mm. I thought, wow, Lambretto with two carburetor. I never think it was a two twin cylinder. No. The first was in, it became impossible twin yeah. cylinder. But you look into Spark, a oh, twin cylinder. Mamma mia, incredible, no? <laughs> I'm surprised, no? And the second one, did you also find an in Innocenti? It's the same, same place, it was all together. How many two cylinder models do exist? Two, two. Only two? Eh, si. And you own both? Eh, of course. Now we come to sell them scooters, and most of them I have never seen in my entire life. Mm -hmm. And Vittorio has, I think, one of the, or the biggest collection the of biggest, these kinds the biggest, the in biggest. the world. So, let's see. Well, the idea about uh, this museum is to, to show mm. for each country what is the, the rarest, the best scooter in this country, the mm. dream of the, of the scooterist in this mm. country, and the popular. The, yeah. the best and the popular. Yeah. For example, for German, Germany, mm. the most rare scooter in Germany is the Bastard. The Bastard is, is the king of the scooter in Germany. 
but the, the, the popular mm. was a uh, gogo. Gogo, gogo, the, 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 this is the, a classic uh, German scooter. This is original condition and restored. For England, mm. the most rare scooter in England is the Oscar. This, uh, this is new and restored. Only two made, mm. one with side car this, one without side car. This is one of the, no, not the first, the second automatic scooter by Triumph. Yeah. The people not understand the automatic concept. Yeah. When twist the gas, mm. the scooter go. Yeah. Not possible for a fum fum. Yeah. For safety, under the seat, are a switch. Ah. If you don't, don't sit, the yeah. scooter will run. Ah, okay. You go sit and then start. <laughs> this is a very good idea. See, yeah. um, safety, yeah. safety bottom. This is Piatti. This is interesting. Ah, the two Piattis. Yeah. This is an Italian engineering. Mm. Invented the scooter in the 49. Mm. No find a factory to made, because no have money to made. Yeah. And sell, sold the idea in Belgium and England. Hmm. The Bernadette for war, only two exist. Only two? See, si, only two. This okay. is very, very, very. I don't like, because no, it's, it's too not, massive. It's, it's not a very know. handsome one, but. Uh, I prefer the scooter with the body. Yeah, we have to speak about okay. this, because this has a very strange look. The, um, this is American scooter, Cushman, by okay. USA, made by license in, uh, in, in Belgium. It is a Belgian Cushman. It is strange, but I like it in a way yeah, because yeah, it's very yeah. special. And you know, this this is this whole thing, yeah, it's like an art collection because there are so many scooters with uh, with new inventions and shapes, and the yeah, people yeah. could try a lot of different shapes when, when they built their scooter. Yeah? This is the idea of my, of my museum yeah. to show the production around the world from crazy to beautiful to uh, rubbish scooters. Yeah. <laughs> I think in this room we enter Japan. Japan on the right. USA, Italians. A yeah. lot of Italian scooters because in the 50s in Italy, a lot of factory made scooters. Okay. Ducati, Parilla, Iso, yeah. Emilia Gusta, Motoguzzi. Okay. This is New really crazy. This is one of the rarest size. Italian scooters. What, what is the name of it? Oryx Prina. Oryx Prina. It was a very small factory for bicycle. It, it is made handmade, a very few pieces. It looks like the like the um, like the American cars in the 50s. Yes. Yeah. Bravo. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. correct, yeah. because the advertisement oh. in the 50 was a Studebaker on two wheels. Especially yeah. this part yeah. here is from Studebaker, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. A Studebaker on two wheels was the yeah. advertisement, the original advertisement. Okay. Nibio. Nibio was the second scooter made in Italy after the Piaggio in the 47. Before ah. Lambretta. This is the first made, only one exists. This is the second made, the first made. There are three different types of okay. Nibio. Okay. The same media Gusta. The gear is by, by feet, no? Yeah. No, by hand, no? Mm -hmm. And for, uh, for check what gear you enter in the engine, no? Yeah. You have an indicator, it's an electric indicator. Electric. 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 And are, are for five light, and when change the, the, the gear, change the light. Uh, and it's a, it's, it's a beauty, by the way. It's very Popo much. Vespa. And for Augusta was famous for racing. I think maybe the most famous racing motorcycles ever existed. And many world championships with Agostini. Agostini, Giacomo, yeah. Agostini, yes. Motorumi from Bergamo. Oh, two twin cylinder. cylinder. Twin, twin cylinder, cylinder, two stroke, complete aluminum casting, the oh. body. Casting okay. with the headlight that turns like a car. Ready? Ah, we, we have to go to my favorite from the Italian side here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It is this one. Um, ah, LFM Multini. I think it's, it's from the front, it's, it's not really a beauty, but from the side, it's much better. And uh, I like the frame. Yeah, it's like like a like a delta box here yeah, 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 from delta Yamaha, box, yeah, 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 and true. then it has a cast exhaust here. Yeah, this is for for, a, for the T-bone stick. Ah, okay. Yeah. And now now we come where we started this video with this Honda, and Honda. this is Honda Juno. Yeah, it, it looks like a gold ring from gold. the from the eighties, but it is a, a scooter from the fifties. Libia. The engine is like a, a, a is a motorcycle engine. Model E, uh, adapt after scooter. 
open, oh. open, così open. This is cool. With a fiberglass body and the engine is a motorcycle engine uh, with battery with an electric starter. I cool it for the for the leg. Yeah. This is what, what cooling. A cooling, see. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I show you the the the, the ice scoop for the carburetor, no? Mm. So this is the carburetor. Yeah. The, um, in iron tack, no? Okay. Go inside the seat, and poi exit. Ah, okay. And, and this is a switch to for switch on the light when the parking. Ah, okay. So I spend a lot of money to find a lot of money to, to restore it. Just... it, it absolutely, what, one what, what of do the you best say? in my collection. Okay. This is a Sasbury after the war. Yeah. It was a big scooter. Mm -hmm. Complete automatic transmission, mm. no control on the underbar, no control, yeah. only gas and stop by feet, like a car. Well, these are the first scooters from Japanese, mm. that was a copy of the American scooter from 38. The Japanese saw this American scooter and yeah. copy. This is very important, which is the first scooter made in Japan in the 47. Okay. There are different companies, Mitsubishi, si, Mitsubishi and Fuji. Fuji, Fuji and Subaru. Yeah. Subaru, Subaru, yeah. Subaru. They look very similar, yeah. but this is because they both copied the American scooters. Yes. Gas and stop like a car. Okay. Horn. <laughs> okay. This is very important mm. advertisement mm. because I understand the idea of the Americans for the scooters. The second car of the picture, in the 47, uh. the man with the scooter go to work, mm -hmm. the wife with the, with the, with the son, the daughter, go to the, with the car, with the car and scooter. Like now, now we go to work to the scooter, yeah. the traffic problem, yeah. and the car only for the family. Yeah. But in the 50s, and also in the 40s, in Italy and Germany, mm -hmm. the scooter was because you don't you don't have money to buy the yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this one is um, it's a rocket or is it? A... Okay, this is a rare scooter in USA. Only yeah. only two exist in the world, and uh, it's the same system. No no control on the underbar, gas, and stop. Okay. One pedal, double double uh, control. Crazy. Now we come to the to the very earliest scooters that exist. Yes. Don't we? Okay. The start of the history of the scooter. Okay. And Because where where does it start the history? Two little different started. Yeah. The first first is the, the, the auto photo from French. This is the, the concept of the motorcycle mm -hmm. adapt a chair. Okay. more comfortable. Yeah. But the idea for the individual mobile yeah. for everybody yeah. for go to school, go to yeah. work, eh? yeah. very simple to use, mm. is was from USA, from America. This is foldable, it possible put in the car. Like okay. like now, like now, now are yeah. electric. If you want to run faster, I, I do like Gas, this. And when I go and to go slower, you do this. this. 1917. You possibly see the photo. About the post office in New York, ah. work with the, the, the motor scooter. Okay. This is a Salisbury, the same factory, the red, the big, the big red, but yeah. in 37, 38. Yeah. And this was the first scooter in 38 with complete automatic transmission, with belt, with uh, automatic latch, but in the 38, eh? before Vespa, before Lambretta. But it's very interesting because people ask me very often, uh, Vespa was the first scooter, right? And I said, no, no, they were, were already scooter before the war. Ooh, yeah. A lot of before yeah. the war. But Now I, I explain you uh, the history about the Vespa. Okay, <laughs> very good. Yeah. Vespa. But Vespa. <laughs> Vittorio is famous for Lambretta and uh, of course also all the other scooters. And he has also a Vespa collection and not also any Vespa collection because here, yeah, Here is a Vespa 98, one of the very early models, See, I think. 4060, yeah. Uh, this is a very important machine because it was destroyed inside the factory. It okay. came from, from the factory Piaggio. Yeah. I chose the most important pieces yeah. of the Vespa. The Vespa yeah. 98, the Vespa model U from 53 Economic, yeah. the GS VS1 with the cable outside. outside. Yeah. These are the three most rare scooter Vespa uh, in the market. The yeah. other are classic uh, Vespa. Yeah. This is from Russian, 
Is it also a Vyatka? See, there are two Vyatkas. This is a copy of the Vespa, copy yeah. 100% of yeah. the copy. Yeah. But after this, mm -hmm. the Vyatka made a new Vespa yeah. with the Vespa engine. It's a Vespa engine? That's right. With chain. Okay. In the center. Look at the engine. Ah, yeah. Here we can the see Vespa. it. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible, <laughs> eh? Yeah, really, a copy of a Vespa engine. <laughs> the Vespa with the chain. Okay. So this is the main entrance of the museum. <laughs> yeah, so this is this is a room where you usually enter your museum. Yes, of course. And what you first see is this. Uh, this is the most accessory scooter in the uh, world. Okay. Won the champion of the Guinness World Record. Okay. Because uh, are a lot, a lot of light. This man from uh, Piedanni, from mm. uh, Bologna, uh, made the scooter in the 60s and uh, ride around the world in Europe for a lot of a journey, uh, for uh, holidays uh, with his uh, wife. Okay. Uh, all working, uh, all the light working. For the shower, uh, uh, made a shower, where, <laughs> which have uh, um, the, the big pen for the auto, for autograph, with the barba, which a barb. <laughs> now he's died, and the family uh, prefer um, put in the museum for remember. Uh, okay, very this, special. This, this special man, this special man. Yeah. Special well, most man. famous mod of Italy. <laughs> Vittorio, this was... Ah, uh, last, 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 last. Okay, last, okay, last, okay, okay. Last is the Laverda. <laughs> oh, Laverda. The Laverda mini scooter. Four stroke, two speed. Okay. From 59. This is the first scooter 50cc for, uh, for boys. And this is important for uh, our history because uh, my father mm. in the 60s, my wife was a pharmacist. Mm -hmm. Bought one scooter like this for uh, delivery the, pharm the, the pharmacy. This photo are uh, in Vittorio and my brother Gaetano in the Buntai with the scooter Laverda. Okay. Uh, my, my, my brother was more older yeah. uh, and uh, uh, in, the, in the back. <laughs> and after uh, 40 years or 50 years. Uh, you made another picture. Uh, this is in the Euro Lambretta, first Euro Lambretta in Strasbourg. Yeah. Now I am in the front and my brother in the back. <laughs> this was really amazing, um, Vittorio. Thanks a lot. But this is still not all about Casa Lambretta. Uh, you would like to see the... No. Yes. To show the whole thing about Casa is this, is this amazing shop where you can get every part of Lambretta. And that's what we are going to do now. And Whoa. cut. Now we are here in your shop. This is what people see when they enter your door, right? Yes, of course. And people can come here for buying every Lambretta part they want. Yes, see, everyone. <laughs> 99%. <laughs> oh, 99%, okay. And behind us, there is your warehouse? Yes, the warehouse where all the spare parts uh, for the all the labrettas. Okay. <laughs> yes. For me, it's very important the, the details. Uh, yeah. I told you, no? These are, these are only screws. Only screws? Only screws, only special screws. Special head um, around 14 millimeter, 12 millimeter. Because for me, it's important the detail when you restore the okay. scooter. And also, my, my way is made the parts in Italy. Yeah. If it's possible, I prefer, because I check the quality, mm. I check the tooling, it's mm. okay, it's possible modified. Yeah. And also, I use the original drawing when okay. I made the parts. Because you have all the original yes, drawings. Yes, of course. So all all my, my, my rubbers, my parts are, mm. are made by Casa Lambretta, yeah. by, made in Italy by the original do, do, uh, drawing. Right. Okay. It's very important. So all the emblems, uh, emblems also for, for Spanish mod because of different. Uh, oh, also for Sevetta uh, and Sevetta, Eibar. Eibar, around the square. Really, uh, everything, everything uh, you can uh, imagine. Uh, this uh, is cool. It's not easy. We now we go to the to the workshop. Yeah. Oh, we have to stop. <laughs> the car. Because of the car. Yeah, because this is a very special history about this car, I think. 
Yes, of course. In the 65, mm. in Myland, was a special British weekend. For this special event came in Italy the Prince Philip, and innocenti prepared this car only for the Prince Philip, for a use in Myland, to show Myland without exit from the car, with yeah. the glass top. And uh, this car it was a gift from the family to me. It's new. So only one journey with the, uh, Prince Philip and Ferdinand Innocenti. And here's a workshop where you restore yes. Lambrettas for customs. Yes, for customs. Yes. Everybody can call you, ciao Vittorio, my yes. Lambretta is broken, can I send it to you? Uh, please repair, <laughs> hey, uh, help me. The big problem are the scooter restored himself or mm. by mechanics not expert, not restored very well, yeah. and arrive here mm. restored to complete the disassembly, reassembly, it was yeah. all wrong, mistake, a lot of mistakes. I think here is very special because you are sure about really every screw yeah. which is original, every every color, every rubber. The tiles, yes, yes, so, of course. For me it's very important. If it exit from my shop, exit yeah. 100%, not yeah. 99%. How many uh, Lambrettas do you restore a year? Uh, about 60, about one and a half per, per, uh, per mount. Okay. Vehicle. This comes from Swiss. Yeah. With the engine no, no, no running, the engine. Hmm. This is the same. The engine no running to disassemble the complete yeah. the engine. Because uh, repaint, beautiful, but no running. Yeah. Because the engine, I don't touch, I don't yeah. move. Uh, it's all the same, all the same. And Vittorio has a very interesting new project and uh, it's a secret. Secret. So, so don't tell anybody, <laughs> but we are allowed to, allowed to see it. Last crazy project. The last crazy project before the other one. Uh, for me, the fork has spent a lot of money for yeah. me, the fork. Uh, I think in the future, the people need also the frame. This is the first prototype of your own Lambretta frame. Yes. This is, is, a, is a really a new material, more strong and more safety. Oh, oh yeah. uh, very good idea because so many people are uh, riding Lambrettas with tuned uh, engines. Eh, eh, this is a problem, because now in the market there are a lot of engines new, yeah. but no frame. I like the idea. Now I'm sitting in a car made for the Prince of England with the King of Lambretta. And, <laughs> and it was really an amazing, uh, amazing wizard. Thanks a lot for having us, uh, Vittorio. What are your plans for the future? The plans for the future? Do you have something you want to change or some new projects? Hey, the frame is the last problem. Oh, the frame, the frame. <laughs> the last okay. problem. Now the problem is not to make a new part. It's the problem to supply all the parts immediately. Yeah. To have in stock all yeah. the parts. This is very difficult. So, Vittorio, thanks a lot for this very nice day. And your grazie, time. grazie. If you come to Landsberg, visit us. It would yes, be a pleasure. Don't forget to subscribe and Bye, Vittorio. Ciao and until the next time. Ciao. And you started collecting scooters and focused on Lambretta or did you first focus on Lambretta or did you start with Lambretta? Hmm? <laughs> It's bigger, like bigger. The, 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 the rear. I think this is a, a kind of Lambro? Or? No, no, Lambro, no, 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 oh, Lambro, okay. no. <laughs> Lambro is in the 60s. Okay. It's very crazy, eh? it's Americans. Okay. But it's very important for, for the scooter history because it's very crazy. <laughs> Und den Besitzer dieses Museums, den zeige ich euch jetzt. Und das war verdammt holprig okay, am Ende. Weiter. This has a very strange look. It has this futuristic look, future, well, see, fu future style. Um, it is, it is, it is, it is, it's also a copy. <laughs>